It's that time of the week again. It's delivery day! Hey guys, we host Super Soul. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! I got some stuff. Yeah, buddy. We have a delivery. I like deliveries. So it's delivery day. You know this happens once every five to seven days. It's my boatload of stuff that arrives from comics and cocktails. So this is all my pre-orders that have come through for this, hopefully for this month. Ah! Running out of money! <laughs> pre-orders bleeding me dry. But, oh yeah, I had the COVID haircut snipped. Needed doing. It was looking ridiculous on video. It's right, isn't it? I snipped that bad boy off. But kept the beard because, you know... Anyway, let's get on with the boxes, guys. We've got two boxes to get to get through today. Both are from Comics and Cocktails, and we've got a boatload of action figures to get through. So, let's take a look at the first box. Did you guys check out my video the other day uh, talking about um, Halloween and what's coming up on the channel? Because I've been pre-recording. I'm nearly done. I've just got a few more action figures to review, and then all the Halloween content's done. Then I can start thinking about Christmas! what Christmas content we're going to do this year. I've been enjoying doing the 31 days of um, horror and, you know, doing action figure for photography on Instagram. I've been really enjoying doing that. So I'm going to do, I'm going to set, set myself a new challenge in December. I'm going to take November off. I'm still going to take some photos, but I'm going to, I'm going to take November off. And then December, I'm going to go for 25 days of Christmas and try and do 25 Christmas photos. Should be hard. Should be fun. So that Halloween's kind of relatively easy. Christmas is going to be a difficult one. All right, here we go. They put a cover in. Oh yeah, buddy. I've been dying for this. Dun, 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 Sarah Connor. Yes. Dun, dun. Judgment Day! This is Sarah and John Connor. Come with me if you want to live. I need to dig out my Terminator. I have the Terminator. I need to dig him out so I can play with him. And I've got a bike that I'm going to sit him on as well. I'm so excited. Mm. Yeah, I got that Terminator a while back that's got the, ro you know, the rose box with the shotgun in. Um, I got that one a while back. And I've also got the 80s. Um, Kenner one, which has got the purple shirt on, which I'll probably use with this one to be honest. But yes, yeah, Sarah and John Connor finally have them. They were so hard to get hold of, and then I'm so glad they got re-released in this two pack because uh, that 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 classic Sarah was so hard to get hold of. Do you know what? This is going to be one of them boxes that I'm going to struggle to get rid of because it looks amazing. Because you know, you know, I'm an out of box collector. I'm going to struggle to, to uh, open this box because look at that box it is beautiful and then we've got Sarah and John inside he's got John's got his backpack we've got his little uh, his little computer as well which is a nice accessory Sarah comes with a knife a pistol and a shotgun <coughs> oh and the assault rifle and we've even got the arm inside the the big um, glass cabinet thing as well that's really cool. The, the likeness to John Connor is insane. Sarah looks okay, but the likeness to John Connor is nuts. That looks brilliant. Come with me if you want to live. Three billion human lives ended on August 29th, 1997. A few who survived the nuclear fire of Judgment Day lived only to face a new nightmare, the war against the machines. In their effort to eliminate all remaining humans, Skynet sent two Terminators back through time, their mission to destroy John Connor, the future leader of human resistance. The first was programmed to strike at his mother, Sarah Connor, in the year 1984, before John Connor uh, was born. But it failed. The second was to eliminate John when he was just a child. As before, the resilience, the resilience was a sorry, the resistance was able to send a clone, a lone warrior to protect the boy. The only question was which one would reach him first. Dun 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 dun. dun. Awesome. See, so yeah, I've got, I've got the actual, I've got the copper and everything. I've got all the figures for this now. I love. I don't think there's any figures I'm missing now from Judgment Day. Probably my favourite film growing up as a kid as well. When I was in the hospital a lot when I was a young'un. Uh, that was one of the movies I would watch again and again and again. 
Because uh, when I was a kid, I had some some big operations done, and they never had kids' films. I was always on the the adult ward because of what operations I was having done. I was never on a kids' ward, really. And so the films that I remember watching were all like Alien, Predator, Rambo. Uh, then you've got Commando. and I watched all the 80s cheesy action stuff. So I pretty much sat with my dad and watched like all the Terminators, all the Predators, Aliens. And uh, when I was like eight and nine years old. <laughs> So, fond memories of this film. I love it. One of my favourites. Anyway, waffles out that one enough. Let's move on to the second box. I say waffling, but then you guys always say you like little tidbits about things like that. Giving you some insight as to why I like certain things. So, each to their own, innit? Let's see what's in the second box. Can anything top that first box, though? Can anything top certain? I can't have years. <laughs> What's in here? Ooh, got a boatload of stuff in here. Oh yes, we finally got him. We're the future Charles, not them. They no longer matter. <laughs> We've got Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart's versions, well, and the other two that I'm not particularly fond of, McAvoy and... McAvoy and... Nope, can't, oh, no, I thought I had it then. Nope, it's gone. <laughs> for, me, for me, though, it'll always be Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen playing those roles. So I'm glad to finally have uh, a proper Ian McKellen version of Magneto. And it is the same wheelchair again. No! Why did they give us the same wheelchair twice? I was hoping to have the one with the proper X logo on the wheel, man. His little joystick. <clears throat> But at least now I get to play when I unbox these. <clears throat> I may say when I did my first Magneto review with with uh, Xavier and stuff, I did that I did that stupid skit, and I've seen that I've noticed that everybody who's unboxed this one has done the same lines. Just saying, you copy me, boy. <laughs> We're the future stars, not them. They no longer matter. It won't be that way. Kill me and find out. You don't think I can stop the ball? <laughs> I love that movie. Alright, so we've got another bundle. Open the bundle. Ooh, finally got him. It's the new Mysterio from the Spider-Man range. So glad to have him. We've also got Electro still to review in that line, so I'll probably do Electro with him. As uh, so we've got Mysterio though, nice. Oh, has he got a head underneath this time? There is a little head under there, yeah? Cool. I just noticed it says that you, there's, like... That the helmet goes over the top of the head, look. So there is actually a sculpted head under there this time. Last time there was, like, a skull with, like, a snake or something going around it. Which was kind of cool. But I wonder what's in that one. Awesome. The reason I say that is because, obviously, he doesn't need a head under there. So I tend to remove that head because it's good fodder for uh, making another figure. And the final figure, guys. I'm not sure if you just saw it it's sneakily there. It's Toxin. We finally got a decent Toxin. Again, they're using the Monster Bath. But I don't care. I love this thing. The Monster Bath is a... Sorry, the Monster Venom Bath was an amazing piece. So I'm glad they're using it again. I think they're using it... Are they using it one more time with the Venom Pool? I think. In that series as well. Either way, with that new series of, to of Totally Carnage um, starting in the comics, it's a good time to have another new toxin. The Thousandth Symbiote in the lineage includes Carnage and Venom, and Toxin is feared by many to be the strongest and most dangerous. Nice. So, guys, what are your thoughts on these pickups? So, we've got Toxin, Mysterio, Seracana. And Magneto and Charles. <laughs> I don't know why they've got an accent. <laughs> Guys, we, 
which is your favorite thing I picked up this time? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button for me. Leave me a comment down below. I am getting caught up on comments this week. So please make sure you leave a comment and I will respond to you. And uh, thank you very much for watching. There's gonna be a giveaway at 30,000 followers. So please make sure you are following along because it says that over 60% of my audience are following. So please make sure you follow and give us a subscribe. It costs nothing. It only needs a Google account and you'll get notified whenever I make a video. So you're always aware when new stuff's online. Plus, it really supports this channel. Really keeps the growth going so I can keep getting awesome figures and keep the channel going. So please make sure you subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I'm your host, Supersonal, and I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you.